the um, process of searching because we were, it was my first time out of the gate was sort of searching for like how do we want to launch this crazy season that is coming our way and we met with a few artists and when I tell you that Merlon's with well, a minute she sort she walked in the room effervescent and you know there's a kind of there's a kind of tug that you feel when you meet your people when you meet somebody that is just it's chemical you know it's going to be great and she laid out her portfolio the tug became just like a reach out smack you around <laughs> grab you <laughs> This was absolutely the artist who was going to do this first season justice. It's like, yes, yes. <laughs> I had never done it. I had never done I've done book covers and things like that, but I've never done theater before. So I was open. I was like, whatever this is, I'm gonna do it. Like, so then they're like, well, we want you to come in and talk to us and give us a, a budget. I was like, all right, I've never done that before. <laughs> And then they wanted to meet, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna hook up, a, I'm gonna hook up my portfolio. <laughs> Everything was just like a learning process. And even as I was creating the pieces, um, it was, it was, it were there were nights where I was like, I cannot, like I can't do this. And I was, I, and then something would happen. I was like, okay, okay, I gotta just push on, push on. But I really worked hard on these. Like I left, I left that job, and it was like, I'm just gonna put everything. I can into this, and I really did. I literally put everything into these pieces, like waking up, you know, six in the morning, or staying up till six in the morning, and Bill, wherever Bill is, he was so awesome because I would be, I would be emailing him like, I need five, I need one more day, like he'll be like, okay, we need it by Monday, and he'll be like, two, like I need one more day. So he's like, he's like, oh, he's like, he was very like, oh, but it was because it was a new process. Everyone was kind of open and. Flexible, you know, they were very flexible with, with this different way of because um and also with with collage you can't just pick it up and take it places, you know what I mean? Because it's little literally thousands of little pieces of paper not glued down because I wanted to make sure like okay you guys like this one, okay no, okay. <laughs> um so it was it was such a process, it was such a learning process for all of us and everybody was very flexible and and I so appreciate that because there were nights I was just like, I suck, I suck. I was so mad at myself because like, but then Bill was just like, no, it's oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. No, tell me what's the inspiration behind this one. This one is for, um, this one is for a pl uh, play called Thoughts of a Colored Man. Mm -hmm. And when I read the play, uh, I, um, it was, it's done in a uh, very poetic kind of style. Mm -hmm. um, it deals with a lot of stuff dealing with the 80s, dealing with uh, things that men go through, family, love, um, lost dreams, children, and just all, all the things uh, black men deal with in society. Um, police brutality, uh, everything, everything. So, um, so I just really just um, kind of played with that idea. And um, I am a man, you know, that's a, that's a, a placard that used to be up when the the brothers would be uh, marching in the 60s, and I am a man, and I just kind of put that whole idea of uh, civil rights and revolution in this piece. That's all. Um, so you see there's a police officer. Oh, that one's changed now. But in that piece, you would see, you'll see like a baby, uh, a poli police, because uh, black men deal with uh, issues with uh, police brutality a lot. Yeah. Um, now the this Afro, one. Right. too. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what about this one? This one is called Men on Boats. Men on but in this one, they don't use actual men. It's uh, transgender or women who they take the name and kind of flip it and use um, all kinds of people to represent this, this uh, story of, it's like the 1800s, and these explorers go to the Grand Canyon, and they're, um, so it's really interesting. It's something I would never actually, like, maybe work on, but because of doing these different plays, I had to do deal with issues, like, um, stories that I might not, not come across uh, ordinarily. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So they go out exploring and it's all kinds of like wild madcap stuff that happens. So when I was asked to do this piece, they wanted it to be in the water with boats, but kind of crazy and funny. So I had to figure out a way to make, you know, 
these dudes on, these women on boats, not men, it's even those called men on boats, women on boats, and make it interesting and funny. So this was a very interesting, like, mind-bending experiment trying to figure out how do I make boats funny, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so this one took a, a couple of tries, but once I got the folks kind of falling out the boat, and because they're supposed to kind of not know what they're doing, I think that's the whole joke of the situation. Mm -hmm. um, and then this one is, it has to do with, this one has to do with family. This one, it, it kind of plays on the Dick and Jane book covers. I don't know if you remember those, yes. the, the yellow with the different family members. So this is just the whole idea of what is family, the fluidity of family, um, uh, kind of putting family uh, together, with different pieces. Um, Why then, did you use that one in the center, that like? Uh, that house, right, right. Um, uh, because the play takes place in a house, so I was kind of play, playing with the idea of this kind of broken up house. Uh, it's, it's kind of a house, but it's because it's white and you don't see, there's no like... It's like a southern house it, from way back. Right, when. right, right. It's not fully put together yet. And I kind of was playing with that whole idea of this house kind of falling apart. It's a falling apart house, but it was never really a real house to begin with. So I'm kind of playing with the, this kind of dysfunctional family, family issues, like the home representing a family, and maybe the family, it seems sort of okay on the outside, but yeah. it's got problems, you know? They got some issues that they're dealing so with. So the people, all those characters around the house are, left. Are in, are in the story, and there's a dog in the story who's also like a very integral part of the family. Yeah. And it's also a spirit, the, the dark piece right here, the lady with the dark um, hair. Yeah. So this one is interesting. So this one um, deals with a story where a um, someone comes back from he had left this town because he had done something to kind of um, to let the town down because he felt like the town had let him down. So he did something to them, but now he comes and he's having a conversation with the people of the town. So I wanted the people because there was an issue within the story where the man felt like he was hurt and he needed help and the ta they looked at him but they didn't help him. Mm -hmm. So that's what the eyes, they're all kind of looking at the person like, oh. they're looking at you but they're not, there's no interaction. They're, they're seeing through they're, you. They're seeing through you. Oh. Right, so then he comes, he does something to the town that's not really great and then um, comes back and has this conversation with the town. And this one, to me, this one had to represent Baltimore, like kind of look like Baltimore. So I'm hoping it does look like Baltimore. Um, we kind of wanted to look like this city. I think it does. Well, it's it's six it's six plays. Yeah. Uh, I miss you like hell. Yeah, I miss you like hell. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, because that's the one that's coming out next. Yeah, yeah. What went through your mind? And the Bukai. Yeah. What went through your mind in creating a backdrop for that? Oh. Um, Oh, so much because it's so it was so many pieces that I had to get ready for so I literally would, I was reading the plays and that's what I do usually I'll try to read whatever it is that I'm working on to create the piece so I took parts from what I was reading and created the pieces so I had to read each of these I, I basically read most of the plays I didn't read the book I was really hard to read because it's in that kind of ancient like um, Greek. It's, it wasn't in Greek, it was in English, but they used that kind of verbiage. So that one was a little bit harder to read. So I kind of read, the, I read more of the summary and the, the uh, more um, English-ish version. Um, uh, and just kind of just went off of what I read and then spoke to the different, um, the producer, the art director, about what my ideas were, and then we put the ideas together. They would look at it and say, oh, okay, we like this part, but we don't like this part. Then we like this thing, but we don't like this thing, and then I would do another, kind of fix it and add things or change things, and then they would say, we like this one. Okay, so then I'll go to the next one. Do something, they, they liked it, they don't like it. So, so it was a very much like, hoping they would like it, I would work on something, hoping we would speak about what I would be doing. And because collage is a little different than like painting and sketching, because you're kind of pulling things from all over the place and putting it together. Um, so I, I, did, I, I didn't know if they would like it as I was creating it. So did I had to- recognize that in watching your various collages that you're Haitian? Would they? Um, not particular these because they were commissioned but my other collages that I do for myself so if you look at if you look at something like this mm -hmm. the 
this is this is specifically Haiti. Right. If you look at this, or like this, like this one, these are these have to do with my Haitian culture because most of my pieces have to do with market women, or I do I do a lot of pieces dealing with. I used to when the um, earthquake happened in Haiti, um, I did a piece called Ten City, and I did a, a bunch of pieces that had to do with the um, the. the I started making pieces when the hurricane, the earthquake happened, and uh, folks were all in tent cities. So I created this piece called Tent Cities, and then from there I started making different. Like each year, I would make a different one honoring the lives lost, you know, to the earthquake. Um, so yeah, so so the commission work is different because they don't want this. It's not. It doesn't have to do with Haiti. Like this had to do with Greek, a uh, Greek tragedy, someplace. Nothing to do with Haiti, so this it's kind of hard to. Yeah, but yeah. You, I like the, the 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 sound of miss you like hell. Miss you like yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> and then and that one has to do with mothers and daughters, and I, most of my pieces have to do with mothers and daughters too. Yeah. So yeah, it's kind of hard. Like with the commissions, you don't you don't have any really any kind of you're doing the work, but they're telling you kind of like what they want to see, you yeah. know. So you can't just be adding like yeah. Haiti in there, you know what I mean? Like this is ancient Greek. They don't want hate. That's the headline. Ahead, you, you seem know. to be very excited about this work. Yeah, I worked really hard for it. Like, it took me uh, almost six months to finish this project. Yeah. Um, this is one of the longest projects commissions I've ever done. So, uh, Did you yeah. work alone? Did you work alone? You had other people helping you? No, I worked alone. Yeah, 16 by 20 pieces. I did all of these by myself. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. And I did them, most of them I did off of out of magazines yeah. and um, I did print up a few things maybe fire or um, center stage there's a piece that has center stage in it so that has um, that was printed up but for the most part it was books and magazines that I took these things from so literally I'm looking through books and magazines all day long trying to find images that fit through what I'm working on so when people come to see these plays they are able to see your paintings yeah 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 so they'll be coming they'll see that I think um, I didn't get to see it, but they're saying outside there's some banners which I didn't get to see. Right. So yeah, and then they're doing other like little postcards and like promotional things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what happens to you after this? Yeah. So what was really great is after this, I was asked by Etsy they wanted to come feature my shop. So I had a photographer um, come to my house and take pictures of my studio and how I work and. Um, uh, I just got another commission for a book cover, so I'm hoping to just keep going. Somebody was, um, someone was speaking to me about murals. Mm. I didn't think it was possible to do collage and put that in a mural, but she's saying it's possible, so I'm gonna go with that and say, okay, so I'm open, I'm, I'm open. After this project, I'm pretty much open to a lot of things because I never thought this was possible. So for this to be possible, then pretty much I think it is. So, so what's the correct okay. pronunciation of your name? Merlon. Merlon jean <laughs> I, I, and the thing is that to make it easy, thank you, darling. Um, to make it easier, I will say Merlon Jean Gillis for folks because I know jean is not an American pronunciation, so I will say Jean Gillis. What would you like to say in Haitian to people? Who What does that mean? What I'm saying, what? Plant is a plant plant. What I'm saying. No, just, uh, just do the work, man. It's, it's, this is just whatever, whatever it is that I feel like you're, you're interested in, whatever creative goals that you have. I feel like uh, try, yeah, they keep to try, work on it. You know what I mean? Because I never thought this was possible. Like, they like, literally out the nine to five grind, and then this, this came to me. So. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. I was wonderful. Great.